So here we are starting with our second section which is information security controls. In this section we are going to take a look at various points like threat modeling and security policies, incident response management, various risk management systems, cloud security, security management systems, risk management using firewall, ideas and honeypots modeling and security policies. Here in this video we are going to take a look at a couple of points which is various threat models in information security and security policies implementation in organizations. So we will start with our threat modeling. What is threat modeling? Threat modeling is a procedure for optimizing network security by identifying objectives and vulnerabilities it means they are going to find the loopholes in your network and they will try to mitigate or prevent the effects of the threats in our organization the next point there is in this context a threat is a potential or actual adverse event that may be malicious or incidental and that can compromise the assets of an enterprise. So obviously, if there is any single loophole which is basically highly vulnerable, it can affect your whole security of your organization. Here you can see that what exactly the components of threat modeling are. There are three components of threat modeling, which is response, operations, and visibility. You can see that response is like have you been tested your incident response plan ever? Operations means do you have the right operations processes? And the visibility is what are your biggest vulnerabilities in your organization? Now we will talk about some security policies or we can say information security policies in any organization. So security policies are the foundation of information security infrastructure. Obviously, there should be some security policies. Information security defines the basic security policy and rules to be implemented in order to protect and secure organization's security systems. If you talk about the most important security policies or the type of security policies, so you can see that there are four type of security policies are in information security area. The types are promiscuous policy, permissive policy, prudent policy, and last is paranoid policy. Now we need to understand about the definitions of these different information security policies. So let's check it. First is promiscuous policy. Promiscuous policy usually has no restrictions on users of system resources, means a such environment where there is no password on any folder or any file in your system. That is called promiscuous policy. Permissive policy is like they are saying this policy begins wide open and only no dangerous services or attacks or behaviors are blocked. This type of policy has to be updated regularly to stay effective. That only dangerous services or highly vulnerable loopholes are blocked. Other services are open, which is usable. Prudent policy. This policy provides maximum security while allowing known but necessary dangerous. That is called prudent policy. And final is paranoid policy. Paranoid policies means they are not going to provide you any facility like internet connections and other users. So the internet connections and other users are not allowed in this policy. So I can say that promiscuous policy and paranoid policies are not practical policies. They are more into secure theoretical policies. Permissive and prudent policies can be implemented into companies. Risk management system. Risk management and risk assessment are major components of information security management, which is called ISM. Although they are widely known, a wide range of definitions are found in the 
relevant literature of NIST. It seems to be generally accepted by information security experts that risk assessment is a part of risk management process. After initialization, risk management is a recurrent activity that deals with the analysis, planning, implementation, control, and monitoring of implemented measurements and the enforced security policy. Risk management processes have four parts, risk transfer, insurance placement, prevention or avoidance of risk, and the mitigation of the risk. So these four components are the types, you can say it is the type of risk management. Now components of information security risk. We can divide it into several components like threat factor or threat actor. So human or non-human entity that exploits a vulnerability is called threat factor or threat actor. Vulnerability, it's a really easy component which is called weakness in any system. Outcomes, the result. Impact, impact means after exploitation of any system, what effect or what impact it makes. It's called impact. These are some important information security risk components.